music producers. It's Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. And a few of you were asking me questions specifically of how to assign your new MIDI controller, your new MIDI drum pad, whatever it is that you're using, your MPC. You want to figure out how can you assign these pads here to individual drum sounds in FL Studio. It's actually really simple. It's funny because a 14 year old taught me this. But <laughs> for those of you that still don't know how to do it or you haven't found the right tutorial, check this out. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your MIDI controller is hooked up, of course. You want to make sure you go to your MIDI settings. And once you plug it in, you, of course, got to enable it. Once that's enabled, you exit out of here. And then what you want to do is open up a program called FPC. Now, when you open up FPC, there's a few default sounds that are here. So obviously, it's not linked. Or it's all over the place, actually. And we want to get to where it's organized. So what we want to do is basically, if you want to add your own sounds, perhaps click up here, right click here, and then click on empty. Now you have an empty pad that you can basically add your sounds to. Now, depending on what your comfortability is, as you can see, this one has eight different drum pads that I can push on. The way that it's set up with M FPC specifically is that it goes in reverse order. So... For instance, this right here would be the first pad right here. And then it goes basically in order from there. So it'll make more sense when I actually add the sound. So let's add a kick. I usually have to, I like to have the kicks right around here. And if there's anything that you want to change, say for instance, the volume, you can change the volume. You can actually add layers on top of that. You could change the individual volume of those. You can actually change the pitch if you wanted to or reset it. And you could change the panning to wherever you want it. But for right now, we're going to add the kick there. Let's add the snare. It's one of my favorite claps. So let's go ahead and add that there. Maybe add that. Let's add some hi-hats. Let's add that here. And what else will we add? Let's add a snare just for the heck of it. Okay. So, as you can tell, these first two work, but these right here don't work. So what you want to basically do is click here on the down menu, over here where it says pad, and go to map notes for entire bank. Click on that once, and then what you want to do is press each and every key in order from bottom to top. Okay, now everything's assigned. So. There it is. And if you want to add additional sounds, obviously you can do that. Put a pop right here. Put a cymbal there. And once again, that process is basically to map the notes. There you have it. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Once again, this is Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. Have a good one.